Can you hear me better? Good. So I'm Sam, and I'm just going to share a little bit about my story. I think a lot of people have talked about service, you know, doing good, finding your passion. So I'm just going to share a little bit about myself. I grew up in Liberia in West Africa uh, in the 80s, somewhere early around there. And as you can see, a really beautiful picture, beaches, nice places. But then in 89, all hell broke loose. We had a civil war start. And what that meant was a very challenging time, losing friends and family and, and so forth. But one emotional experience that really, I, I think, challenged me and motivated me to want to give back was a chilling evening in December of 89. Uh, we heard gunshots outside of our house. And the normal thing you did was you ducked for the beds, and that was it. Right? You didn't want to attract any attention. But we heard banging on our doors. And the last thing I saw, I, mean, I even felt, was the barrel of a gun at the back of my head. And my family was lined up about to be executed. Uh, and what happened was, because my parents were from a different country, they felt like that country was supporting the rebels. Um, and most people get to hear about that even from the US, you know, supporting other countries. But one of the guys in the, one of the troop leaders had been a student at where my dad was a teacher. And he recognized my dad. And he, you know, he called out his name and my dad said, yes, that's me. But this was a simple thing because my dad had taken time to really help him out. Yeah, he was about to graduate 12th grade first in his family, and my dad took some time to really help him out to pass his exams. And he remembered that situation. So for me, that was a very chilling experience that all he did was he was a teacher and just decided to help someone, and that in turn saved our lives. Uh, out, out of that situation, what I took from it was I'm obligated to do something to help people because you never know what it, where it will end up. And I think that's what I want to share is it's not about doing good because you expect something in return, but know that there's something, there's some benefit you're helping others with. And in Liberia, you know, you had American Red Cross and Red Cross people come and help. So for me, service is important because you're taking time to help somebody else, whether it's a friend, a family member, an organization, whatever, it's sex trafficking, anything, you're taking that time to help others. And I feel like I'm paying it forward. And I think at Booth, I'm so proud to be a student here because it exists in so many forms. You know, you're helping first years, you're helping, um, second years helping first years, helping a sick friend, whatever it is, you're doing that. It's not something big. You don't have to go and save the world, but just taking that time. I know in college, some people do it, building houses, you know, helping somebody get their first home ownership because you've spent those hours helping. Uh, other people do it by serving in uh, food shelters, and just giving your time. It could be an hour, 30 minutes, whatever you do, you're giving back. So three years ago, I had the opportunity to partner with some nuns uh, to work on a project. They were interested in building a library in Ghana. I didn't have the money to do it, but what I could offer was just my expertise about the, uh, the country. And so we partnered together. They raised a lot of the money. I was just talking to people to try to do something. But one thing that came to mind was I approached the local library. What do libraries do every two years or three years? They just refresh the books and throw it away. Or they have these 50 cent sales and whatever is not sold, they burn it. And so I approached the library and said, can you help me out with some books? And they said, absolutely, because we're going to burn 2,000 of them. And these are encyclopedias and just general books. We had a chance to take it to Ghana. And I visited the library a year ago. And you could see these kids so happy. And it didn't take a lot for me, just showing up to the library, organizing some shipping, and getting it over to Ghana. And kids were just so happy and passionate because this was their first opportunity. And for me, that's why I love to give back, because it's not taking a lot from me. It's just helping somebody out. And I get a lot of um, happiness from it. But as leaders, everybody here, I'm very positive, is going to either lead a department, lead an organization, or do something. That's why it's important to give back. For me, it's come full, stuck, full circle because almost killed, having a passion to help some people and making a difference has not taken a lot of time for me. We're all going to do something here. Whether you're a manager, a director, VP, running a company, your own company, you're going to manage people. Service gives you the opportunity to practice it. You get to volunteer and give your time. When you're a leader, you have to make trade-offs for team members and so forth. I think there's some great quotes. People say whether it's a rent you have to pay, it's an obligation, big or small, it doesn't matter. Find what you're passionate about. I found mine through, unfortunately, a civil war. You can find your however you want it to be. 
my challenge to you is that just do it. You know, take time and help somebody because together I know we can all make a difference. And I just encourage you to really take that and have an impact on somebody's life. Thank you.